Greetings, my friends. It is Corey from Super Kami Guru 9000, your host with the most. And it's summer. You guys have probably noticed because it's hotter than the devil's ball sack outside. But the good news is we can all head inside, crank up the AC, and watch some brand new anime. Yes. The summer anime lineup is about to begin, and I am really excited. There's a lot of returning shows I'm looking forward to seeing, and a lot of brand new ones. And the main focus of this video today is I'm going to talk about some of the ones I'm looking forward to seeing, but I also want to hear your opinions. I want to know what shows do you guys want me to look at this year, and some of them I might even consider reviewing for you guys, because there are just so many crazy ones this year. So let's just talk about some of the highlights. First up, Space Dandy Season 2. Loved the first season. It premiered on Toonami before it even aired in Japan, which is a monumental thing for the show, and it's going to do the same thing in season two, and I'm really looking forward to it. In fact, Toonami is going to have like a whole marathon of the last two shows leading up to the premiere of Space Dandy season two, and it looks great. The trailer that I've seen for it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun, and it looks like they're going to be sticking to the formula of not like worrying about continuity and just really doing what they want and experimenting with animation and trying to make it as entertaining and funny for the viewer as possible. And I really do want to see more of that. It's unlike any other anime that I've ever seen, and it's of course done by the legendary Shinichiro Watanabe, who's worked on stuff like Cowboy Bebop and Samurai Champloo, and even has another show that's starting this year, which is known as Zonkyo no Terror. And really, I couldn't tell you much about it. It just looks like it's going to be a highly psychological show with some really high quality animation and that's a show I'm really looking forward to as well. Other ones I'm wanting to see are Sword Art Online Season 2. This is a show that I'm kind of a newbie at. I've only just sort of recently finished the first season but I will say it blew me away. It's not like, you know, the biggest Shakespearean story epic ever told, but for what it is, it's got a pretty good story, the action is absolutely incredible, and the characters are nice and fun. And I cannot wait to see what they're going to do with the third season because the game they're going to be playing this time looks like it's going to involve guns and sniper rifles. So it's going to be completely different from the stuff that we saw from Sword Art Online in the second season when we went to uh, Alfheim Online. So I can't wait to see how they're going to expand on that story and some of the older characters we saw from the beginning because Sword Art is really awesome. It's one of those shows that when I first started watching it, I thought this was going to completely suck, but it really caught me by surprise. Some other shows that I'm looking forward to, there is Akame Ga Kill and Tokyo Ghoul. These are two shows I really couldn't tell you too much about. What I will say is they just look like they have some really nice, dark, interesting storylines and some really flashy animation. If there's one thing to say, it's almost every show that's coming out this summer looks like it's got some really nice production value behind it. And the last show that I'm really looking forward to seeing is the brand new Sailor Moon anime, which is a complete retelling of the original series. And the main reason I'm looking forward to this is there's a lot of nostalgia factor behind it because I grew up watching Toonami. In fact, I had this thing that I did pretty much every day after school. I'd get home make myself a snack, get all my books out from my book bag, and do my homework, and watch Toonami at the same time. And there were only a few shows that I would actually, like, tune out of my homework to just, like, strictly watch, and that was, like, Dragon Ball Z, Gundam Wing, and believe it or not, I really liked Reboot. I don't know why, but I did. But whenever Sailor Moon came on, or, like, Tenchi Muyo, I'd always do my homework and just sort of watch on the side. And I really don't know that much about the Sailor Moon universe, outside the fact that it's just a bunch of scantily clad high school girls who transform into magical girl versions of themselves and kick the shit out of demons. I just think it looks really awesome. I like the old school aesthetic, and I've already seen the opening of the show, like the intro, and I love the song. It's got these great guitar riffs in it, which gives this this like this sort of old school feel. Because I, I just love old anime style. Like I'm a big fan of 80s and early 90s style. Like that's not to say I don't like the stuff they're giving us now, but it just that that's, that was just sort of like my all time favorite. And I'm hoping that it's going to be another big success, and it's like the perfect antithesis to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. So that concludes some of the shows that I'm looking forward to seeing this summer, but are there any other anime that I did not talk about or ones that you guys want me to look at that is coming on this summer? Please tell me with your comments below. Do you have any recommendations? What do you guys want me to review? Remember guys, before you leave, hit that like button so you can give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out the videos tremendously. The best way to help us out though is to watch our videos and to subscribe to our channel. There's a button right up here. Just click on that and it'll help you out. You can also check us out on the Facebook and the Twitter. I will put links to those in the description box below. So guys, that concludes this video today. Super Kami Guru 9000, out.